Hello, my name is Iqbal and I'm going to show how to prepare a student mark sheet in Microsoft Excel 2007. So click on Start, All Programs and then select Microsoft Office and click on Microsoft Office Excel 2007. First type your school or college name here. Yes, we have given college or school name here. That means in column A and row first. Now I will type a subtitle. Students mark sheet. And you can also give address. And then, uh, first I will take serial number and one more column for student names. And then, I'm going to take six subjects. Uh, first, Hindi. English subject, history I will take, and then maths and science. So I'm going to take six subjects here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And first, uh, Serial number I will generate 1, this is 2. Overall 10 students, for 10 students, I'm preparing this sheet. You can take as many as students or as many as uh, uh, you can. You can take uh, different, different colleges, schools and subjects. So first I'm going, going to enter all the student names. That is, for example, Lenteravi, Raju, Yusuf, Muhammad, Tarani, Gita, and Babu, and Then Shama Anand. So I have entered all the student names. Now I will type marks for the students. Still, I have not done the formatting. Later, we will do the formatting for the sheet. Uh, Ravi. For Hindi, he has taken 56 marks, for Kanra 67, for Stick 78, and then 48 again, Sign 68. So we have to fill all the subject marks. 58, and 86. Somebody I will make it very highest. That is, Raju has taken 99 in science. And then, 46, 45, 46, 39, 41, 55, 56, 76, and then, 82, 68, 61, 78, 48, 59, 
seven forty four sixty seven and so on fill all the marks sixty seven seventy eight eighty nine and then thirty eight fifty eight sixty seven Six eighty nine seventy four fifty six forty seven sixty seven last two the students then seventy eight eighty three forty three fifty two forty five sixty seven Yes, we have given all the marks to all of our students. Uh, we also need to uh, fail somebody here. That means I will name somebody that was failed. Here in maths, I will fail the student. He has taken only 20 marks. And then uh, for the for the signs, I will make her 24 marks. And for Rani, and somebody I like English, they have taken only 10 marks. So we need to fail somebody in our list so we can check the results. One more column what I am going to take is total marks. Total marks and then here I will take the percentage column. Percentage. then uh, now we, we will go for calculating the total but before that we will do the formatting okay so percentage we are calculating here and then result we will show here results that we will show the pass or fail who is pass and who is failure and this list now I'm going to do formatting. So first select the serial number from here. You can select entire table till this much. And then from the home ribbon, take format as tables and then format as table, select a particular style for your table and then say ok now we need to format titles uh, just click on A cell A and then hold on the left click till last column like your K K is your last column in your mark sheet till K you select and click on merge and center from the home ribbon and then increase the font size with bold and italic and then I'm going to change the color to light blue. The same thing we have to do for this. Select the second row, hold on the left click, drag towards right till the L column and then click on merge and center, increase the size, then bold, italic, I'm going to change the color to dark blue. And then same thing, I'll select on cell 3 here, hold on the left click, drag towards the right hand, then till column K, click on margin center, little bit size I will increase, bold italic, and then I will give again the same dark color. And now, I will reduce the width of the serial number column. Oh, that's it. And then, student names. So, we need to calculate the total marks here first. So, select select your Hindi subject. That's a first student. Cell, this cell we have to select. Hold on the left click. Drag towards total mark. 
here. Here we want to generate the total marks of a particular student and then click on auto sum in the home lip one auto sum and you can see the total got generated automatically for all the students now we need to calculate the percentage click on this cell percentage cell and then double click in this okay before double clicking check so address of the total marks now see we are in column i that means ravi is a score 363 mark in overall six subjects now we have to check this row we are in fifth row and then column column i and see fifth row and then i column i for you is the address of this total now you double click in percentage cell say equals to opening parenthesis and then tell the address i for you divided by 600 into 100 and then closing parenthesis we need to give just hold on the shift and on the keyboard keypad zero key you can press to get the closing parenthesis and then press enter you will get the percentage but it is not properly formatted in it is not properly formatted in decimal places select the all your percentage cells by holding down holding down the left click right click on that and select format cells in the format cells click on numbers and then select two decimal places here and then say okay you will get the percentage here Now I'm going to highlight this total cells. That means select your all the cells of total marks column and then say cell style. I will give a little different color for this cell so we can identify it. So I'm going to give light blue light blue is already there then we will give yes right green that's it and then we need to calculate the result who is pass and who is fail we have to check that so the formula you can note down so first just double click in this and say equals to if opening parenthesis find function we have to take and then again take opening parenthesis now we need to tell all the subject should be greater than 35 the Sindhi, Kannada, English, History, Maths and Science all these subject should be greater than 35 marks then only uh, Excel should tell that this student is passed or if it is less than 35 then the excel will tell that the student is fail now how to do that first we need to check the address of that subject cells now see c c has in the c column hindi subject is there and the row address is for you that means c for you and the d for you e for you f for you g for you and then h for you we have to take we have to take all these addresses by separating with the comma for example c for you comma and then d for you comma and then e for you comma now i am going to also tell greater than 35 but before before that i will select all the cells e for you comma f for you comma g for you comma h for you and then here i will give closing bracket now no, just don't press enter here we need to tell the marks still so c for you should be greater than 30 for you and then d for you should be greater than 30 for you and then e for you should be greater than 30 for you f for you should be 
greater than 35u and then g for you should be greater than 35u h for you should be greater than 35 and now you need to separate the comma you have to give the comma at the end of the here here at the end of the parenthesis that means the the first part of the formula is completed now in double quotation you have to give a statement cos that means if all these selected columns are greater than 35 it will show pass and then else if it is not if it is not 35 i am separating again with the comma that means in double quotation it should show fail if it is less than 35 so i'm going to close the parenthesis and press enter here so it will show you who is pass and who is failure for the failed students i'm going to highlight with color a red and then background color red the text color i will make it white again same formatting i will apply on this and then same formatting i will apply on this that means these students are fail in the subject now you see how it is going to calculate the results uh, this student is fail uh, she is taken 20 in maths i'm going to change it to pass 55 she has taken again in the second shot second attempt and then click on the outside now you see you can, it, it, it is showing pass that means it's working great now i will make it again fail so now it is fail now what else we can uh, do here we can we can generate a graph now see chart uh, select your student names and then marks of the students subjects only this much area we have to select after selecting click on insert menu from the insert menu select click on this small arrow drop down columns and you can take cylinder and then from the cylinder you just drop it and you now see it is generated entire graph here chart here uh, from this design menu which go which, which is which appeared automatically after inserting a chart you can select different colors and themes from it so i have selected red here now we can see how it is showing all the subjects in different colors and the names and then student marks how much they have scored here so you can see somebody's highest here in 99 uh, that is raju Raju is highest in science here. Uh, Raju in 99 science. Uh, that's great. So I hope you have understood well. Now I'm concluding. I'm ending this tutorial. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.